Like many young boxers, Omar Valenzuela looks up to Muhammad Ali. And like Ali, Omar has big goals. To win a title, so that's one of my goals. In his prime, Ali won three titles. And now at 70, he's in the fight of his life with Parkinson's disease. We really don't know um, why he has Parkinson's, but it could have been from boxing, but nobody, nobody knows yet. That's why it's important to donate um, time and energy to research so we can find that out. Go. For the first time, professional fighters and brain health are being studied in real time. Fighters get a state-of-the-art MRI, memory, cognitive, speech and mood tests, as well as a clinical exam to see if subtle changes in the brain can be detected over time. One of the critical elements of the study is being able to determine why some athletes develop these long-term complications and some don't. The hope is by following people over time, we can learn where earliest changes of injury occur and hopefully predict which of these athletes are at risk of developing these long-term complications. Because if you know that, there's the potential then to intervene and to prevent some of these uh, chronic problems from developing. Just nine months into the study, early results show that brain matter is changing, especially in fighters who have spent more time in the ring. The volume of the brain is shrinking and the fibers that course across the brain are starting to um, dissipate or be injured. It's still too early to know what these changes in brain matter mean for young fighters like Omar, but as long as he's healthy, he's keeping his eye on the prize. If something's wrong with your brain, something's wrong with your body, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be to the point where you can't, you shouldn't be boxing, you shouldn't be boxing. If I'm healthy, then I'm gonna stay in the sport. At Cleveland Clinic, I'm Erica Foreman.